Battles. Bring you. And we're gonna bring you. And we're gonna bring you. I'm not gonna bring you. I don't know why you're there. And let's see. We need to bring Mr. G. G unit. All right. All right. All right. Everybody good here? Everybody good? Couple of those, couple of those. Really, probably don't need that much food, considering where I'm going. But one of those, one of those. Go ahead and bring two stacks of torches. Let's try this. Oh, hello, Nikki. Hello. So immediately we, the carrying the grave robber with the map uh, is paid dividends because we already have our secret room ready to go. So, all right, guys. So you guys had asked for some feedback on how to play this party. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to YouTube, and I'll kind of give you a breakdown on how I'm gonna use it. Um, we're gonna start with the grave robber lunging. Um, She's got the most speed. You can see her speed's 12. The reason I brought the Ancestor's map and the um, Grave Robber's Talisman was really for that right there, to get the secret door. So um, the way we're going to play this is really try and go through almost every room and see how far we can go. Since the Antiquarian's a little bit of a liability, we may not be able to go as far as I'd like, but... We'll see. It should be a pretty good party, but it, it's basically based off the concept of leapfrog. So we will um, hope that she goes first with a protect me. Um, then we will hope that she goes second and hope that he goes third or fourth. It doesn't really matter. And they'll be basically leapfrogging. She should end up in slot three and hopefully the third or fourth row is already dead if they do exist. So we'll see how this works. That's a good loot start. Okay, okay. Surprised, all right. So lunge. Um. These guys, I since they aren't prot, I probably could just nervous stab, but I'm gonna just kind of demonstrate the way that the party works. So play aggressively, and he's gonna duel us advanced. He'll probably kill, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Annihilated. And now he's got repost, so she's gonna be guarded. He's gonna repost, and then dead. So that's the way the party should work. In an ideal situation, we just did exactly what we wanted to happen. All right. So we'll reset our party order and move it on. And we're already running into a little bit of bottleneck for our space, so. I should have lit the torch. That was a fuck up by me. Alright, so protect me. And going to judge. We'll go ahead and hit third row. That's fine. Lunge, we'll hit third row. And then we're gonna duelist advance. I'm sorry, that was that was technically third row. Really, this is fourth. Repost. And um, 
really, I mean, we could go a lot of different directions here, but we'll probably just go ahead and um, give him the speed bonus. See here we could shadow fade, um, but she's not going to get the proper range, whereas he is able to actually hit back row. As long as he hits, should kill it. So we're going to go ahead and pick to the face. All right, so that's dead. We re-up the repost. Now he's in the front row and able to do some damage. And we'll repost again. Um, since she's in the fourth row, we really don't need her to do anything back there. He's already got repost up. Um, because her crit mod's going to be so high... With thrown dagger, we're gonna throw that, and we'll actually let him get a heal. So he's a little behind, and then since his crit mod's high, we'll run wicked slice. All right, so we're already leaving gold on the table, unfortunately. Um, let's take a look. What can we get rid of? The herbs are going to give us probably food from that table, which we really don't need. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of that stuff anyway because we're about to get really good drops. So we'll probably leave that there. We'll max out our food table so he can eat. Nobody else needs to, obviously, but we'll go ahead and max that out. And we don't really need to take anything else. So now that we have enough food, we can really get rid of those herbs. We'll go ahead and grab our treasure, get rid of the herbs. Ditch those. I could have. Uh, that was a mistake. I could have actually de used that as a debuff. Um, Alright, so. She's going to continue to stack those. We're going to. Uh, we're going to get rid of the band aids. I don't know that the loot table would be any better than what we have there, so. That's alright. Alright, so now we're going to move back. And we're going to head back this way. Clear these out. Of course, we get the food check now. Whoops. Actually, I want to reset Leapfrog. Oh, fuck me. I saw that, but it's too late. Damn it, Depth Reception. Blind-ass bat. Right, I don't need... No, no. We don't need to do that. We don't do that. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. It's speed and HP. Son of a bitch. Alright, she should be able to remove that disease when we camp. So, not the end of the world. Alright, moving on. Scout, scout, scout. Alright, so we really don't have to go through those curios. We'll do this only to get the stress debuff. See if there's any treasure. Good. Oh god damn it. I did it again. I fucking can't see it. It's like I need a colorblind mode. So we'll go all the way down here. Remember to disarm the trap because I'm an idiot. Wow, another food check. That was shitty. It's bad luck. Alright, 95%. Go ahead and do that since you have more stress. Moving on. Um, nope, and then we'll just go back through here, turn around, go all the way back. Jesus Christ, really? We just had you do that fucking two hallways ago.
trap. Who's got more stress? He does. Again, holy shit. Oh, don't want that. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and light up our torches. The light, the promise of safety. Okay, so rows three and four here will go first. Because of her minus speed, that's kind of going to screw up a little bit of what we got going on here. Oof. Well, that could have been worse, I guess. Um, let's see. He's going to leapfrog once, if not twice. I could eliminate the turn, but we can actually nervous stab if we have to since he's in the third row. I think his two leaps will hit here okay, as long as he doesn't get stunned. That's not going to kill. Okay, protect me. Repost. Yeah, she's going to need to get healed since she's marked. Nice dodge. I was unlucky. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Confidence nice crit. As the enemy okay. We won't have to actually work. Work some heals out here. Nice. Good job. Okay, she's good. Um, let's see, 30 of 48. Gonna heal. Just eliminate that turn. Nice crit for the stress relief. And let's see, he has prots. So we're gonna bleed him. Otherwise, it would have went. Wicked Slice, it's a no-brainer with the amount of uh, crit that it has. Okay, so he'll last one more turn. We should be able to get an additional heal in unless he hits hard, which he did. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, uh, rather than leave this, I'm just going to drink that. And you can go ahead and interact. Pray for the best. Nope. I'm going to take that since you have low HP. Scout check. Okay. We'll be able to use the Grave Robber to, since she has more stress, to take care of this trap if I can see it. There we go. Alright. Trap disarm. Move on. Torch up. And prep leap frog. Okay. Uh, this will be interesting. At least we got a surprise off. None of these are great options with what we want to do. So we're going to try and eliminate back row. That was a really good hit. Perfect. She should still be able to lunge, which will make us in a little bit of an awkward situation, but he's got repost, so that'll go okay, and we should be able to tick away on the other ones with his open vein. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Good. Uh, what 
are the stuns? 70? Uh, yellow. Fuck. Damn it, damp. You never stun. What are you doing? Um, usually I would say get down. There's no reason not to play aggressively. We need every HP piece we can get. Good dodge. Thank God that has low accuracy. Alright, if anybody could get stunned, that's a good one. We don't need her right now. In before Damp gets absolutely fucking shit on. Okay, she's still guarded. Heal. <sighs> Might just have to bleed everything to death. All that prod, I have nothing to get rid of prod. Oh, her fucking block expired. Whoops. Alright, um, stack another bleed. She definitely needs to heal her, though. Then I'll have her lunge to get back in position. There we go. Okay, that actually helps. Yeah. Back in position. It's not dead, but almost. Um, okay, finish. Off. All right. Notice with the high crit, we're running very, very, very little stress. Very little stress. Um, we've gotten a little RNG to our benefit, but still. Still been running very good crits because of the party that we brought and because of the way that we spec'd um, spec the party to begin with. So, tick, 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 tick those bleeds. Right, she's healed. Jukes. He's dead. Hopefully he won't go. Good. She can go. Heal her to at least get through a bleed tick or two since I don't have band-aids. Heal yourself. Good heal. Okay, dead. And she'll have to go through those ticks. That's fine. Oh, what are you, why would you prioritize that? Okay. Alright, so we at least have one more room that has combat in it. Which is fine. Alright, reset our party. Moving on. Eat the food. Eat the food. God damn it. Did I walk into that one too? I couldn't even see it. Son of a bitch, damn. Sorry, guys. I literally do not have depth perception, and it makes it a real bitch to play this game sometimes. I can't see some of those things. I guess I should be, like, micromanaging the map, but I don't. I don't often look at it once I spot stuff, so. Ugh. Hi, Victor. Alright, so it's in the last room. That means we gotta go through two more fights. And, you know, we gotta go through probably another food check, which is not what I want. In Radiance, may we find victory. Because we're using her to open everything, she gets more. Okay, Madman, not that big of a deal, especially when he's surprised. Um. A dagger. Nice. We could actually judge him to death. And then we'll go after the pig. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Always. As soon as I say that. 
They'll just judge him to death. It's a fucking game. <laughs> It should be fine. All right, now we can use her to lunge. Oh, I was hoping that would kill him. Well, that will. Which is, that's part of the reason that we bring him is because his repost is so strong. Especially when he's focused, it can he can really do a ton of damage. She's healed. The weapon that cuts on its own. Be wary. Torch, take that. Grab this back. So we'll probably have to use bare bones rations on the next one, but. At least we uh, get our camp in. We really won't need the stress debuff, but. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a Probably just give that to somebody to eat. Alright, so we're gonna take the trinket. Um. Let's get rid of her disease. And then... Gallows Humor. And since that didn't work, we'll go ahead and use that here. And here. Alright, and cured. Alright. Alright. Got Ambush, of course. Damps RNG at its finest. Everyone's in a fucked up area. Not where they should be. Okay, that's actually better. She still should be able to lunge from there. To kill her. hate when they miss. Anything we can do to hit the eliminate distress. Alright, good. Stress gone. Because that's a gold sink. Can you continue to leap? Oh, her protect me went away. Whoops. Go ahead and do that. I was hoping that that wouldn't happen. Alright, at least she resisted that one. Alright. Hi, Victor. Uh, I don't know that that is the case. Um, because I'm not partnered, though, it's been kind of laggy lately. Nikki has said that's just been something that's, like, Twitch-related. Um, that a lot of non-partnered streamers have kind of been getting shit on. So. Sorry if it's the case, though. Wish I could fix it. Swap this. Move over. Okay. And of course we camped earlier than we normally do. Oh god. Really didn't want to see these guys. continue to heal him because we'll be working from behind when 
he gets drilled. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. So at least if he's marked, we got a lot of damage out of it. Um, all right, so we're gonna try and help him as much as we can. And then from here on out, we'll probably use judgment. Hey scout, what's up? to re-up the repost and then protect me. I was hoping for a crit there, didn't get it. Um no prot. Hope for crit. Okay we didn't get it. God her accuracy sucks. It's not as bad as the lepers, but it's pretty shitty. Devastating blow. It's all right. She's still guarded, so continue to heal. There's the crit, but still didn't hit hard enough. God damn it. That was a risk that I probably shouldn't have taken, but... Hopefully he doesn't get crit. Alright. Uh, really way too much stress for... I, I don't know. Something I guess I could have managed a little better, but... The amount of crits should bring down some of them still before the end of the party. One shot. They're probably within one shot, so I'll let her heal. Otherwise, I would have nervous stabbed. Bring him back up. I could have actually done repost instead. That's all right. Wow, really? It was a really low roll. Just finish it off. Okay. Holy shit! The amount of money. Um. Okay. Ignore that. This room will be the last one. We should get a scout check. We'll see. Still come out with pretty low stress as long as the next fight or, or two fights aren't too brutal. Um, don't have the herbs. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. So, it's alright. Since her accuracy is so bad, I'm just going to heal. <laughs> nice. His stress will be up kind of high. It's really high for this. We kind of got some bad food checks, so I camped earlier than I would have liked. It's alright, though. We're still going to make quite a bit of money. Alright, so this will be one of the last fights. Um... Go ahead and heal him up a little bit, because every bit helps keeping him over 50%. Bring him to the front, re-up the repost. Bring that up. And then have her judge probably from then on. Nice job. Half health. Go ahead and attack to get him down within one hit for sure. One hit kill. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. All right. Um, clearly and easy. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Let's see. I don't want to get rid of that. 
So we'll just get rid of that. touch the books we don't want the journal pages that badly um, not that many people are active in chat right now scout I'm just kind of walking through how to use this party to make gold somebody had asked for it on YouTube so I'll probably end up um, putting it on YouTube mm -mm. fuck I was hoping that wouldn't be a dodge uh, There we go. That's a good hit. Okay. Still, I was hoping that the party would have less stress than this, as high crit as they are, but that's all right. I, I ran into a couple bad fights, and also we had a couple... I, I didn't get to plan out the camp how I, I would have liked. Um, didn't work that great. So... Bring her down, or him, or whatever that is, to a one-shot. Alright, that works. That'll bring a little bit of stress down. And then we're going to have to bleed him to death. See, at this point, it makes me kind of wish I brought Blight. Oh, God. I hit hard. Same thing, tick tick. No, I didn't bring her to uh, the DD. No, uh uh. She's getting the resolve XP. A lot of people get that confused. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, based off the UI interaction sometimes. But yeah, I didn't bring her to the DD. So I'll keep the shovels. And we're good. So Unfortunately, we came out with way more stress than I usually do, but that's okay. Should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. So as a follow-up, guys, I'll highlight this and put it on YouTube, but that's what you come out with with that party. So 27,000 plus the quest reward. So, 36,000. It's pretty good. 